What they have to do? How did they? How did they fight her anyway? Is this where they fought her? I guess so. Like they brought her home and then fought her, fought the shit out of her. And he basically shattered her mind too, right? Like, yeah, he kind of had to, right? Yeah. And then implanted memories of her into Raz's family. Absolutely deranged. Yeah. Was that what? I don't think that was how oh. you're supposed to do that. <laughs> I don't care. What can you tell me about this place? I... Oh, I think... What about it? I think I used to keep the cinnamon over there. That's right. Correct. Oh, we don't have much time. Her old memories are coming back. It's oh, jeez. Listen, Raz. This compound... We got into some pretty far out stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> the kind of stuff they don't write about in true psychic tales, okay? We all pushed each other to go farther, to broaden our consciousness. Jesus Christ. Door in our minds. It made us defenseless, psychically. But we were in a safe place here. We had each other. Then her homeland was attacked. She insisted on helping. I begged her not to go in that condition. And so they just got incredibly high on shrooms and fucking destroyed their minds. They were super powerful, but also super yeah. vulnerable to psychic attack. Pretty much. Classic. Raz, you ever heard of DMT? With the astrolabe. A powerful tool we developed to make alterations to us. Yeah, they showed us that. that you wouldn't understand. It was an age of exploration. We're gonna find out he's Joe Rogan. <laughs> we were messing with powers we didn't understand. And now I have to clean up this mess. But I'm not the psychonaut I used to be, Rasputin. I need your help. You may just be a ten-year-old boy, but man, I could use your help with this. <laughs> what do you need me to do? First, I need you to go to the Heptodome and prepare the astrolabe. I stay here and keep a close watch on her. So is this almost the end of the game? I think so. <sighs> She's insane. She's truly deranged. Yeah. This is the first quality time he's ever going to have with her. I hate to interrupt, but <laughs> He's going fucking crazy. So this water curse on my family. <laughs> the more Lucy comes in contact with water, the more likely she is to remember bad things. So I use the astrolabe to give her an unnatural fear of water. She passed it on to your father, and he passed it on to you. It was Crawler. There is no curse? Rasputin, there's no such thing as magic. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you fucking stupid? <laughs> Your dad thinks this is his mother. He has no idea. It's his aunt. No idea that his mother has been dead for 20 years. <laughs> huh. It's like right there. So we're still like that related though. As we yeah. Remembers who she is. Insanity. Complete insanity. He's just like, it's not his mother. It's his aunt. Yeah. Insanity. It's pretty wild. Though. Where the fuck is the astrolith? You know, that's a good question. I I'm assuming this way. So can we go in the water now? Hell no. No. Oh, of oh, course the away. fucking that's platform should disappear. That was classic. I was hoping since now he he knows the curse isn't real and he was just a, it was just a major prank. Nah, it's... Definitely makes sense that he's still completely afraid of it. How are you, going to use the you see, Raz, I owned you. <laughs> and your dad. <laughs> He got on, Raz. <laughs> With your help, I'm hoping we can bring it out and destroy it forever. So he really will kill her. Where is it again? That way, in the Heptodome. Ah, we would have ah, gone the wrong way. Classic, yeah. Good thing. Better get that astrolabe working. Yes. Sensing some strange memories don't care. Ah. Oh! Don't care, don't care. <laughs> okay. Good old 
Well, they Video almost fucked with you. Not yeah. caring? <laughs> Don't care. What is that? Don't care. <laughs> this is where the first Psychonauts Don't went. care. I love this shit. Don't care. And this, must be this must be the brain fuckler. That's basically what it is. Yeah. Well, I'll just turn this thing on then. Classic. Don't do it. Oh, Raz, no. don't. Don't do it from in between the astrolathe. Well, those, oh, those bees. And thorny. Oh. Oh, no. Yikes. Okay, I'm going to need a little help. Here. Oh, fuck. Bees. Okay, here we go. Oh. So we need to go now to the forest, don't we? Possibly. Yeah, we're not going to be able to control the bees unless we have... <laughs> we need Compton Bull. Look at that. It's just straight up just mushrooms. Damn. Yeah, they were just getting stupidly high in here. And then just being yeah. like, what if... I could control you with my mind? <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to do that shit. I don't care about the brain tumbler, bro. That shit's old news. <laughs> Ford, last game's news. Ford Crawler's sitting there just being like, wouldn't it be fucked up? And then he just eats he eats another mushroom and he's like, <laughs> if I could read your mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There were other cool things I wanted to buy. Yeah, let's see, let's see what pins we can get. This melee bedazzling enemies. Uh, oh, that's just color fists. Channel psych. Uh, deal more damage. Damn it! We're so close, actually. Hold your hold your cash. Yeah. Titanium so dropped at double rate. Damn, that that's shit's pretty good. Ah, uh, pepper. Uh -huh. No objects to telekinesis. Just pluck a ground chunk. That's to throw pretty it. good. <laughs> that does rock. Yeah. I do want better melees, though. Yeah, it's probably the best one, I imagine. Better pyrokinesis duration. Dark thoughts. Connect dark thoughts to reach previously untraversable areas. Oh, that's cool. Wouldn't it be fucked up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's how you, you start Raz's Joker arc? <laughs> You really, you want this arc to happen? Don't it's got to happen, right? Like, I know Raz maybe, but Ford Crawler is his Joker arc probably is gonna happen. So I guess we don't have to like try lighting him on fire. Okay. Bees hate when they're lit on fire. Nah. Okay. Well, the bees come from hither. Yeah, follow the honey, they said. It's not what I would say when I see bees. <laughs> Damn. Incredible. I'm honored. Dude, that's a real fucked up base. A skunk family? <laughs> So never mind. They were smoking the doinks in there with oh, young yeah. King David. Oh, <laughs> you're totally right. What the fuck had just happened? <laughs> he got killed by bees. A horde of bees. Oh, what the fuck is that? I guess he can't go that close to it. Okay, uh, can't that's go. just. Well, there's that smoke at the beginning. Right there, right? Turn around, turn around. Yeah. You gotta, like, smoke them out. The fuck? Maybe I just use this to keep it around me? What's wrong, bees? Yeah. Get in your eyes. <laughs> Such Good a catch. Dickhead. <laughs> he really is. What's wrong, bees? You suck. <laughs> That's not even a good one. That one's great. Yeah. That's what I would say. 
if I if I defeated bees. Oh, they're so pissed. <laughs> they hate this shit. You're starting the bee joker arc. Why would I want you to be here at all? <laughs> to be here. <laughs> I love it. This villainous in here. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. The bee bitch. The bee itch. <laughs> Green Needle Witch, you don't exist. You're just something someone put into my mind. <laughs> Which means there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination. A very solid hallucination. Nice, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And where was our security, eh? Castiopia. <laughs> Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Crawler brought me through security. Ford? Ford Crawler? What the fuck is she wearing? <laughs> you know. I knew it. I knew he would. This is what happens. You study bees one time and then you you put on a a horrific spike covered what me pussy does to a motherfucker? Yeah. If you were to go th ten years into the future, the bee movie, this is what would have happened. She would have got dicked by the bee, and then and then she would have gone into the woods and become this. Yeah. He. She, I really like that one tweet that always surfaces. Like, man really put his woman in a in a room alone with the bee, and she folded. <laughs> I just like. Imagine being that guy. Yeah, no, that shit's that shit's fucked up. Imagine that you just you leave the room for ten minutes and your your wife is banging a bee, and you're like, "Huh." I really enjoy the fact that that also was a character voiced by Patrick Warburton. The bee? No, the dude. Oh, the the dude. I Patrick that was Jerry Warburton, Seinfeld. Chad, Dad got hey. fucking cocked by B. Jerry Seinfeld. Hey, Jerry Seinfeld. You're, you're, you're fucking my wife. You can't fuck my wife, dude. <laughs> please. What are you please? Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? Hell yeah. When you were going to act. Thanks a lot. Hell yeah. Thanks, Cassie. I agree, hell yeah. So are you the green needle witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? What? Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. Which is true. Beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Because you're so tall. <laughs> okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but what bee? This is a horrifying woman. Yeah, she's pretty gross. She's all fucked up. I'll admit, Even for Psychonauts, she's all fucked up. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. We created DMT here. We gotta keep it safe. Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. <laughs> We're gonna go to the beach. Raz is clearly based enough to decide what's fucked up and what's good for these people. Yeah. Yeah, it is just some ten year old kid just being like, You mind if I go fuck up your brain real quick? And they're like, Alright, yeah, sure. <laughs> Not the worst thing I've ever you had. You mind if I them. arbitrarily decide what's fucked up and what's good for you? <laughs> Hello? He is kind of a villain for that. Bees? Yeah. <laughs> Bees? Yeah, I think so. Oh shit, this is cool. Fucking love this game, bro. It looks so it is good. It's really cool. Oh. Paper, Paper Mario. It's okay. I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? What? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Yeah, sure. So far my track record says so. <laughs> <laughs> now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain. Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission. 
but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible if you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. Hell yeah. There's that. Oh my god. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> She's cringe. <laughs> She's cringe. When we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends, ah, worthless. Damn. They've all got there bad shit to say. Book in there, that could help me? they are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you if you were to help me. How's she even making any sound? She's just paper. Because she's How's she up? speaking? How does she exist? She's just paper, bro. Books. She's fucked up. <laughs> Where's her organs? <laughs> she's just paper. Dude, where's her organs at? <laughs> <laughs> Raz just says that and she falls over and stops existing. <laughs> then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. <laughs> Raz is like, damn, that's like 25 more options than I want. Yeah, okay. We are out here. Raz is wild for this. This is peaceful. Raz is wild and out like Nick Cannon. True. Damn, dude, I'm getting serious Harry Potter vibes because cause J.K. Rowling invented the library. <laughs> you know what else? Smell like Santa villainous floor. out of pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smell like Santa villainous out of pocket shit, just like J.K. Rowling would. <laughs> By the way, those black people. <laughs> Don't even get it. Don't even get her started. Does she? Does she have a thing about black people? No, she actually has a thing about lesbians. Well, I I, I knew people. that. I I knew that, but I was like, did I miss the black people? No, arc? I just I just felt like, <laughs> just felt like putting words in her mouth because it was believable at the very it. least, <laughs> right? Like you said it, I didn't even question it. I just assumed that I missed something. <laughs> hey, you're not a child. No. What? <laughs> That's right. Why, I why love beating a... people to death. <laughs> oh, oh, new enemy. Oh hell yeah, the enabler. Hell yeah. Seriously? <laughs> Dick. New enemies this early, this late into the game. Who knows? This might not even be the. This might be the halfway point. Now I'm thinking about oh. it. Cause we might have to go and like re like collect everyone, right? Cause we never went into Truman Zanato's head either. Oh yeah, true. And we'll probably have to go into Lily at some point to go into her brain and, and see what's going on with her daddy issues. Yes. God, I hate those enablers. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I really I can't believe I uh, you just said JK Rowling hates black people. I was like, yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I did I really didn't even question it at all. I was like, alright, sure. Everyone knows ladies and lakes is a terrible way to form a system of government. <laughs> You know what's really funny is that, that that that's like uh, is, that's from like the Monty Python and the Holy Grail is is like they're they're making fun of the of that shit because like that's just how it was in like the King Arthur yeah in, in those times it's like there's a lady in a lake gave him a sword and he became the king <laughs> and um and then that's literally just what Bretonia is. Yeah, no, Bretonia. <laughs> I would the first thing I think of when I hear Lady of the Lake, it's just yeah, the Bretonia. It's just total war. Yeah. What's the axe for? I think Warhammer specifically because the elves have the same shit. Yeah. 
That guy probably said something funny, but I, I, I I'm missing it. Too late. It. That was fucking devilish. Oh, you had to use time, time slow on it. You're so fucking smart, you know that. I'm galactic. Can you use time slow on it? Is the question. We have to be able to, right? Yeah, I, I can't imagine that you can't. What's the Let's see what he said again. You totally can. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, you were right. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? <laughs> Was it to be slaughter? I love that. Ooh, where's the pretzel meister? Papa fell into the cracker machine. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Not to worry, it was a secret wish. What? I think so. That's why I pushed it. God. <laughs> Go away. That lady's a villain. Yeah. Raz is gonna go crazy in the Dark Souls way from reading these evil books. What's going on here? Oh, you're playing in the oh. book. Oh, that's really cool. I'm in the book. I love that. I always love book. this kind of shit. Like when it, it, it reminds me of when you're playing uh, Super Paper Mario. Yeah. And you go into the background in a couple yep. uh, couple areas. Vespa. Vespa, 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 Vespa. You gotta use your super ball way. jump, I think. Oh, I'm trying you. to get in the ball, but it won't let me. Ah, okay. Uh, hmm. Can you grab shit with telekinesis? I think I know what I gotta do. That's telekinesis, Kyle. Oh. Can you wall jump between those two things on the side? Like, between the... Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Vespa, 